right yeah. what question yeah. can be in the health sector what can be challenge what can be challenge with doctors and you know uh, patients so similarly we can uh, compile those things mm. this so, is what we are following yeah so in the big mnc's what happens om is like you mm -hmm. have different verticals okay mm -hmm. the banking telecommunication and all the right so you right. said about health now they say health so uh, everybody has their different uh, requirements and different use cases hmm? right. so that's why we are <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why we yeah. are. It's me and you <laughs> we all are yeah. Yeah. that's why right yeah, that's why we are. Are. <laughs> yeah yeah so that's why we are so uh, these are diverse the, because you know uh, if you go to the it industry talking about mm -hmm. it industry they have these verticals okay they will call you they also used to call bu business unit <laughs> okay so this right. idea of business unit in marketing dot also derives from the same like whenever you used to work for it industry you say you are working for it uh, like say uh, not it i'm saying they say life and science life science okay you're working for banking you're working for retail they have a different verticals okay and we used to define by verticals and horizontals maybe uh, salesforce also has to define this both verticals and horizontals because uh, the use case for health sector right so somebody was uh, talking about me like the integration in market in salesforce saying that we have okay. different uh, integration patterns uh, to basically use this use case but uh, still i think it, there is a lot of evolution to happen with these verticals and horizontals right mm -hmm. and uh, you also have to build the similar team saying uh, these pillars basically i consider them as a pillar right so yeah. this person is for the health sector this one is a telecom because he has to have the domain knowledge of uh, what they have exactly. uh, the use case is all about isn't it yes. that i wanted to so, say earlier yes i am going to talk with health sector then i should have knowledge of uh, health sector i should have implementation mm -hmm. experience from there right maybe mm -hmm. so uh, you you have this experience uh, so you have worked with different se sectors across your career that's why you are quite equipped or you feel like okay uh, this is the certain sector which i not uh, used to i don't mm -hmm. know much about it okay so okay uh, how you go yeah, about very it? good very good point so actually my major career was in the sales cloud service cloud experience cloud so what i felt uh, till now uh, based on my understanding if you are clear about the salesforce based product like this mm -hmm. uh, i can say sales cloud service cloud marketing cloud experience cloud how they are working and tomorrow i have to implement the health cloud then the major thing I found, it's all about data model. If you're able to understand their data modeling, their best designing, you're able to implement anything. Mm -hmm. Same mm -hmm. thing with the education cloud. I explored the education cloud and I got to know, wow, it's all about data modeling, right? How their students in the education cloud, students is related with other students, how students and teachers are related. So if you are able to explain the schema, if you're able to understand the data model, you are able to understand the business requirement you are able to map the functionality and you are able to implement you are able to design the architecture for that application so this is something i learned in my past experiences and we are trying to you know implement this so this is what i can say uh, I, I i can i can understand yeah and i don't agree with this a... statement yes. i agree I agree because <laughs> salesforce uh, totally is confined with the data models right so that is what you have the leverage. The data model, you can build a data model. Like you currently, when they started with the health cloud, right? So yeah. the health cloud uh, is the core, the sales cloud is the core. And on top yeah, of, of it, course. you're building a data model and you're building a health cloud, right? So I was I was going, uh, I was, uh, I thought like I always do marketing. I don't basically jump here and there because what happens mm -hmm. is if I go in some direction, I go, I have to go deep. So and that's, that's why needed. I don't, that's yeah, that's why I don't like to jump everywhere, you know, because I don't want to know the basics. Uh, I under uh, so my brain will going to crack. Okay. If I'm not able to do that, if I'm not able to implement it, just giving a certification does not help for me. I want um, to, if I'm going, okay. I'm going deep. So uh, uh, I was when in we working in marketing cloud. Okay, we connect with different sales. Uh, Salesforce clouds different like service cloud, sales cloud, health cloud, and so on. 
so we also used to have viva okay no uh, with this ready. health cloud viva viva is also like uh, for pharmaceuticals you like okay. you have a health cloud uh, mm -hmm. you also have viva viva is more of a phar pharmaceuticals and health okay. cloud is more of a Sorry. doctor organization okay like uh, this uh, uh, med uh, medical organization how you, how you say it i don't know the exact i'm not getting the exact word just go get a hospital mm -hmm. chain and all okay nice, so uh, there were people who were little confused with the viva and uh, with health cloud okay but actually these are two different branches pharmaceutical is a different branch health cloud is a different branch and mm -hmm. uh, there has been some issue with the viva that they there was some i think there was discussion i don't know the much of a detail but there is some thing that's going on with the you'll see there is viva is a very interesting uh, tool okay, okay. i'll so one explore of the, that yeah <laughs> yeah there is a very good tool like a lot of pharmaceuticals always use viva and but there is some transition that is happening with salesforce and viva something is happening okay uh now again i'll move back to uh, about your life success and mm -hmm. your struggles and maybe you can say if there were some failures that you encountered mm -hmm. oh yeah sure so of course uh, life is mix of struggles mm -hmm. mix of success mix of failure i can say so yeah uh, i think major thing i wanted to uh, highlight the major struggles actually what happened uh, i'm very lucky uh, from the childhood uh, having good you know education or uh, like uh, every basic need fulfilled by our you know uh, in the family so i'm very lucky in that area uh, in a struggle, I only feel uh, sometimes like when I done with the path, I mentioned Bachelor of Science in IT, then Master of Science in IT, then uh, uh, you can see gap uh, of the, the you know, placement type things and uh, finding the opportunity, major struggles. I, I can say one year of the uh, journey where no any interview was going on and many of your uh circles are suggesting you to change the path because uh, no one is uh maybe try uh, trying on the faces that time in the 2012 11 i'm talking so mm -hmm. that was the moment when i was deciding to let's leave this uh like actually uh you know what happened i have something in it. i have to become a java developer only that mindset was developed uh during my graduation itself I have to become a Java developer and somehow you are getting some options, but no, I have to become a Java developer. Somehow this passion I developed in my early career. So that struggling phase, I realized that was the much uh, very struggling for me. Reason I can say again, I was not from the BTEC background because uh, what happened, that, that was another uh, pinpoint in my career. Uh, I, wa I was in the Ranchi, uh, like I was selected in the AI triple E that time all India engineering interest in jam now we are mm -hmm. triple E emerged uh, mm -hmm. so in the AI triple E 2007 uh, I got uh, opportunity to get admission in the textile engineering mm -hmm. and uh, my thought was we need a computer science we need I need computer science or IIT so I was not able to get that based on my merit I was getting textile engineering options that time and uh, so that time I had to change my path. I couldn't spend one year for again preparation and getting admission in my desired path. So I chose the BSCIT and MSCIT path. So if I compile those uh, in a very quickly manner, so getting the first opportunity in the IT, that was second challenge. First challenge was that time I was not able to uh, get admission in the computer science. Uh, second was that um, getting opportunity. And when I got opportunity, then uh, for the initial two years, uh, I was like lacking in my growth path um, because uh, somehow, you know, you expect the, in the growth, not only knowledge, you also expect something you are getting your desired fulfilled. I hope you're getting my thought. Like uh, we all yeah. want to uh, succeed in the various way. Okay, I'm also getting knowledge. I'm also getting uh, some good opportunity to showcase my skills. So in the initial two years, I think I struggled 
there. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's the reason. I think you also asked me earlier why I love Salesforce because after coming to the Salesforce, I think uh, that struggle phase was uh, crossed. So that's the reason. I think by default, some initial love created for the Salesforce and Salesforce forms. So this is something I'm struggling. I think uh, I have no any emotional story. Okay, I have struggled lots. Whatever. <laughs> no, I think I'm very happy people. Uh, and yeah. even I get sometimes some uh, uh, some failure or some struggles. I feel yeah. There, if you are fail in one path, go in the second path. So I don't have any emotional uh, story. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no problem. No problem. I'll I'll make you open up uh, more in the another sessions when we do for app access. 